I am Dr. B. M. Suraj from Bhagwan Mahavir Jain Hospital. I am a consultant physician and an head of the department. Hope you are doing fine in these times with the COVID-19 uh, times. It's being a novel medical issue. There are several speculative reports regarding its connection with the diabetes. So, and many of you with diabetes are worried that they are more prone to the virus. Yes, as we have seen a lot of studies which has come out, uh, people who have diabetes, who have hypertension, who have cardiac problems are more prone for the uh, viral infection. So today I'm here to discuss about some steps that all diabetics should follow to keep their blood sugars levels and health in check during the current COVID lockdown. As we know, you are not able to go out, you have been locked down. So regular follow-ups may not be there. So I think this is the time probably you need to take care of your blood sugars and your diet control. See, the first and foremost is, it's true that people with diabetes and other comorbid conditions, as I said, asthma, heart failure, kidney functioning being high, kidney failures, or people who are smokers, and most importantly, those above the age of 65 years may be at very high risk and so should take more care. But this doesn't mean that you should panic. So that is the most important thing, what is happening in our community now. People are panicked, even a little bit of cold, cough, they are a little bit worried about this uh, COVID problem. So only thing is we'll have to stay calm, get this thought out of our mind. And as the stress, we need to take down the stress down anxiety might affect our blood sugars levels. So I would like to add here that maintaining diabetes is in control is beneficial for your immune system. So this is this virus just affects your immune system. So as we said, as we go above 65 years means people have a little less immunity. Diabetic patients, hypertensive, cardiac patients have a little bit of immunity, low immunity. So the virus affects them a little bit more. So what happens? You control your diabetes, you maintain your diabetes, automatically your immune system also will be well controlled, which helps you to fight the infections. So please don't panic, stay calm, control your blood sugars with whatever the medications your doctors have been given, the diet control, exercise. Now coming to the other thing, like very important step is, we need to continue our medications on time and test your blood sugars at home, probably if you can, or even a small hospitals, if you can, very close by, you can just go and check if you feel that. If it's well controlled, there's no need, probably even after a month or two months, you can check it. But if you have it at home, yes, very good. You can control it or check it regularly and control it. It's necessary that you keep working and reliable blood sugars will be uh, monitored at home and check the blood sugars. And our aim will be as in general, regular fasting blood sugar should be around less than 110. Postprandial should be around 160. That is what we'll need to keep it in mind. Another crucial aspect, take your meals on time and avoid high calorie snacks. So this is very, very important thing. Whatever it is, you're on insulin, you're on tablets, we need to control our diet. Since we are staying at home, you have been locked down. There's no much of an activities. There's no much of an exercise. So we need to control on a high calorie snacks where our sugars will be under control. So being at home with the family means does not mean you should have a lot of snacks at irregular times. So it is better to avoid a high calorie snacks that are deep fried or have more calories and salt. So in, uh, instead of that, please consume a lot of vegetables like cucumbers, fruits like apple and orange. Regularly take such healthy snacks. Orange and apple not only helps in controlling of your sugars or a low calorie, 
but also it helps in your viral vitamin C, which helps in your little bit of control of your virus infections. So when you feel hungry, mid morning or in the evening between the meals, you can take the yogurt or apple, orange, anything. Please avoid taking caffeinated soft drinks. Try to drink lukewarm water as much as possible. The next is, please don't miss out on your physical exercise. So as a doctor, what we say is first and foremost thing is your diet control, your exercise and your medications. But now, since there is no gym and there is no morning walks, so what you can do is, it is important to find out some physical activities during the day. Probably it does not mean need to be something too strenuous. Just limit a little amount of stretching and exercising is sufficient for maintaining your ideal blood sugars. If you are able to walk in your house, you can walk. You can do a little bit of stretches, exercises which will be more useful. In case if you have a treadmill, please go ahead with the treadmill. Make it a habit to take a short break from your work every 30 minutes and do a little bit of walking, stretching or best thing is the yoga, which you can do it at home, which gives you helps in your stretching, it helps in your uh, calorie burning. So yoga for five minutes, just 30 minutes of mild exercise. Every day is a perfect uh, for diabetics to maintain their health and also in your blood sugar control, especially during this lockdown period. Please remember exercise releases chemicals in the body that make you feel good. And this is also linked to better sleep, reduced stress, anxiety and improved memory. So please just, so just get started. Just like your schedule for eating, working and exercising, it is important to have a regular sleep routine. For example, for most people, between six to nine hours a night, uh, night is sufficient, a good sleep. Going to bed and waking up at a similar time each day can help you follow through with your plans. Because now since we have locked down, we tend to sleep late night, get up late morning. So that need not be hampered as you do routinely during your work. I think that should be the ideal example or the ideal exercise or the sleep you need to take care of. It. If you are finding it difficult to get sleep because you are lying awake worrying, try to limit your screen time and avoid watching news on mobiles, laptop and TVs before bed. This reduces your exposure, the blue light on your retina, which can disrupt sleep quality. So people who are watching, especially the mobile phones, laptops, movies on the laptops, so movies in the mobile phone, all this affects your retina, which disturbs your sleep. So despite being confined indoors during this COVID uh, outbreak, with the news reporting gloomy death and epidemic reports, take a break from the news cycle. Please don't watch too much of news and every day counting what is happening, what is happening. So please avoid that. Get out of that news uh, feeling. So take a break from that. There are a lot of things you can do to de-stress your mind. As I told you before, yoga, breathing exercises are particularly useful. Take time to do some calming activities. Since you are at home with your family, probably spend time more time with your family, probably by like um, indoor activities, gardening, cooking, crafts, listening to music, learning to meditate, reading. So whichever you had it in your past, in your childhood or anything, you can always start doing it. And of course, spending quality time with your families to feel refreshed. So I would like to wind off this with small suggestions. Have a little positive frame of mind in this hard time. Follow a healthy lifestyle at home. Follow all precautionary guidelines laid down by the government and medical professionals 
to save yourself from the infection and also stop it from spreading further. So wash your hands regularly and practice strict social distancing rules to save yourself during the current pandemic. So most important thing what I'm trying to say is, please be calm, don't panic. This infection is only if you don't take care of yourself. If you can take care of yourself with the regular hand hygiene, social distancing, be calm, try to contact your doctor in case if you have any uh, cough, cold, fever or anything, or if you have any contacts with the history of travel or anything like that. So please be feel free to contact the doctors so that they help you out. So please don't panic. Remember, stay at home, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.